Hello, welcome to Prize of Brothers Gaming. This is episode 52, our review of Hand to Hand Wombat. I'm Joseph, and let's let the review begin. You gotta edit out these pauses, right? Nope. Nope, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, the pause is over there, I thought I'd be able to hold it. Um, <laughs> so, Let's go over the. Should we go over the basics at least? Oh, yeah. No, we weren't gonna do that. No, we, we weren't, weren't gonna do that. Okay, no, we so were just, just gonna, gonna just oh, review. Just review. Okay. Let's say so, your name, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put that in the corner or something? No, none of that either. Okay. <laughs> so it's just no editing whatsoever. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so I was thinking about like the summations. Just like a few hours ago, I was thinking about the summations and murder mysteries and like how like the detective explains to the murderer's face exactly how the murderer committed the deed. And that's what this game feels like. It feels <laughs> like it feels like you don't know what just happened because your eyes are closed. And so you need to have somebody explain to you to your face what's going on. Does that make sense at all? That's a yes. Okay. It is my turn to review Hand to Hand Wombat. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely a party game. If you're looking for one based on skill, this is not the game for you. If you're looking for one Based on wombats, it is the one. That's that's my review. Okay, I'm Alex. Um, that was Thomas, if you didn't say his name. Oh. Uh, I have two main concerns with this game. Uh, I think one of my main concerns is that we're actually, it was surprising at how bad we were at the initial objective. So even without the bad wombat messing us up, we could just fail sometimes initially. Um, which isn't a problem because we got better at it, but it's a problem when we introduce new players. And so if like half our group is, if half our group is new, um, if you introduce new, new and more and more new players, I'm afraid that the bad wombat just has like a really big advantage because people don't know how to play well. You can just resolve that through practice rounds and things like that. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, and then my other main concern was, I forget what it was. So, but, so I will say, um, I have an absolute, absolute blast playing this. I think it's just goofy fun where you just, uh, when you get explained the idea and you think it will, you think it sounds wild, it feels that wild. It's just a wild good time. It's just a wild good time. I am Ben. Um. I personally think Hand to Hand Wombat is a decent game. I, my one big concern is similar to Alex's where the skill ceiling or the starting floor is very low, but then also the skill ceiling also appears to be very low. So I'm unsure if the... I think you can get stupid here in this game. <laughs> Shut up, it's my turn. <laughs> so, as the game, as you play the game more and more, you'll get too good where the point you can't physically lose, but if you get too... But the first games, you're just too bad to physically win. And so I don't think the sweet spot of that skill and luck, I think that sweet spot is just too few and far between. Um, overall, though, the game is very interesting, fun. You find yourself laughing at points, confused at most points, and stacking wombat poop at all points. So I think, in conclusion, we all would recommend this game. 
If, if you're thinking about buying it, you've heard the premise, you're stacking blocks with your eyes closed and you have a secret trader who's tearing everything apart. If you think that sounds fun, you'll probably have fun. It is a fun game. Um, it's, I had the pleasure of being a trader multiple times and trying to be as sneaky as possible is fantastic. Trying to brute force everything and getting wrestled out of the frame is fantastic. Hand to hand Wamba is a fun game. Will it have much legs? Will we play in a year's time? I kind of doubt it. But it is something we will enjoy pulling out when we pull out. Prize of Brother Gaming give this review a 4 out of 5. Whoop. No. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Sounds good to me. What? Yeah.